Pedros and those people who are murderers of the, of the first order. Uh, and it, it is clear from previous experience that seven and a half months that Mr. Aristide was in power, there were no refugees. In, in, in addition to which, Phil, the last point on this, but, that this country has absorbed over the last 14 years 700,000 refugees from Vietnam and the Soviet Union, sure. fewer than 1,300 from Haiti. Haitian refugees do not present this nation with a problem. We can work out the distribution of refugees, but we are obliged as a member nation of the family of nations to provide safe haven to people fleeing persecution yes. until their homeland yes, can be made but, safe. But, Please, I ask you to speak to the reality of the return to power of Aristide and to the part of the island that this nation uh, claims for itself. You, do you not agree that he can't just go back and assume power? A United Nations, at least a United Nations peacekeeping force would have to be in place in order to ensure well, against I the hostilities which would most certainly ensue as they uh, continue as they are now provoked by uh, military. What we have to have first is the introduction of tough sanctions. Uh, we have to stop the flow of, of, of trade across the Dominican Republic border. We have to stop flights into Haiti. We have to freeze assets of Haitian military people in this country. Right. We have to freeze their visas. We have to turn up the heat. Once we cripple them, then we can talk right. about how they go back. We may need military intervention. I hope that's not the case, but it may be needed. Now, there's an there's a embargo in place now. Oh. But you're saying it's not working. 44%. It's, yes, the imports yes. from Haiti have increased 44% by American companies part uh, during the embargo. So clearly we're not being tough about it at all. In fact, the United States government has a contract to bring in baseballs illegally that Clinton, the That's largest, it, yeah. In Haiti, uh, professional baseballs are manufactured in Haiti. Danny Glover, you're being very... Uh, uh, patient with us here. You wanted to add what as you listen in on our conversation? Well, well, I don't know how much I can add, you know, to what's already been said. The argument has made, been, been made very clear. I think we're all here because of our discomfort. And it's all right to feel discomforted about something, you know, because that sometimes calls us into action. We're asking the American people to also feel discomfort about what's happening in Haiti so that perhaps they can approach the, the uh, the Clinton administration and get them to change their policy. So, I mean, clearly, Randall is, is stated stated uh, what the issues are, and Mr. Belafonte has stated what the issues are. Because Haiti is ignored internationally, and particularly in this country, we feel that it's our, it's our, it is our responsibility to, to come here and to talk to the American public about it. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is... Uh Interesting is not the word these uh, people in our first rows who have more than a passing interest in Haiti would not use the word interesting to describe this particular uh, geopolitical event. There really is. Uh, everybody in Washington who was asked about this squirms. You'd have to squirm. How can you possibly justify this kind of policy when so many other countries are welcome. So many other refugees from other places are welcome. And how much proof do we need that those who are turned back are brutalized? How much proof do we need? Now the next question, though, and all those, and incidentally, do we ha why is it you have to have superstars from Hollywood to get our attention on this kind of matter? Um, and you know, the news agenda is what the news say should be the agenda. This must be very frustrating for you, just trying to get the attention of mainstream media on this. I mean, we just fled Somalia. We're, incidentally, we like to bomb. We don't like to send in foot soldiers. We bomb people. We'd much rather do that, as we're now doing in, uh, sorry, in uh, Garaza. Uh, and so it is a fascinating thing. And in the age of media now, um, it apparently is going to take Hollywood to focus attention on this brutal policy. And when we come back, we'll talk to the one guest on this stage who, beginning tonight, will engage, and he's committed to this, a hunger fast to get the attention of the powers that be about Haiti. And we'll be back in just a moment.
Susan Anderson just did something totally new that made her feel alive and different. She just took a state-of-the-art shower with New Jergens Refreshing Body Shampoo. This advanced new system combines a dual-textured sponge and a cleanser made with MAP, which unlike soap helps skin retain its moisture. Clean. Invigorating. No dry or filmy feeling. So take a state-of-the-art shower with New Jergens Refreshing Body Shampoo for skin that feels fresh and healthy. In my new movie, The Favor, I asked my best friend to do me a little favor. You gotta look him up for me. And now, Orion Pictures wants to know your most outrageous favor. You could win one of three Norwegian Cruise Line trips. It's different out here. Or one of a hundred favor gift packages. Send name, address, phone number, and a brief description of your most outrageous favor to Most Outrageous Favor Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 6044, Sherman Oaks, California, 91413. The Favor starts Friday, April 29th at theaters everywhere. Isn't it about time you did yourself a favor? Broadway Carpet Outlets is proud to present the Trustmark Carpet Selection System. It's a revolutionary new way to choose carpet because it gives you the facts to compare things like thickness and durability. With Trustmark's Information Center, specially trained salespeople, and helpful labels, you can finally make a confident choice you and your family can feel good about. Come to either Broadway Carpet Outlet locations and we'll help you make the best selection for your home at a very special introductory price. Now we see that uh, graphic. This is Haiti. Sharing as it does. Uh, an island with the Dominican Republic. That's, see, the, see the, that's an imaginary line there. <coughs> that uh, does not exactly cut the island in half. Haiti is the smaller nation of the two that occupy this landmass just off uh, Cuba and not far from Jamaica where Harry Belafonte's proudly claims his roots. Uh, Randall Robertson, you are uh, having your last meal tonight. This is so. For all that you've done for South Africa and all the... Uh, you've been in a lot of trenches and a lot of um, uh, front lines on the whole issue of South Africa and other uh, matters relating to the civil liberties of all people. You've never engaged in a hunger fast. So you've done it now because you really, uh, what, you feel this is, you're running out of ways to get the attention of the powers that uh, make decisions about well, this? Well, I, I don't take this uh, lightly. I've never done anything like this before. I, I have no idea what, if any, impact it will have. But in my 17 years in my job, yeah. I have never seen a more callous policy from any administration than I am witnessing from President Clinton and the Clinton administration. It is insensitive, it is cruel, it is grossly discriminatory, and it is profoundly racist. And it would uh, be wrong uh, to allow this to happen to innocent people who simply are fleeing persecution while our administration does nothing to restore democracy and then sends them back, consigns them to death. And so we have to do everything we can to turn this awful policy around. Over here, please. I mean, I'm getting sick and tired of listening to famous people jump from topic to topic. I feel bad for what's happening in the former Yugoslavia as much as I feel bad for what's happening in Haiti. Nowhere in our Constitution, as it says, we have to go out of our way to try and... Aristide was in power for seven months before that whole thing happened. These countries that have all these problems have been having problems for hundreds of years, going back to when, you know, the Americas went in there and had this. It, we keep going, we try and help them, and then we get out, and then in a few months later it goes right back to the same way it was perhaps before. Perhaps I should respond to your question since I'm... I mean, I, feel, no, I, I believe something should be done. Do I jump about. No, but I feel that something should be done. But I also feel that, you know, putting a Band-Aid on the problem is not the answer. Hoping that the Congress passes something where they send money down there and then walking away from it once they feel it's okay, like what they're doing in Somalia. 
Within it's a few months, within a few months, what... Somalia will be back to the same way it was a year ago. Look, um, I agree with you that self-determination, self-determination should be at the root of most of the ways we deal with these situations. The fact of the matter is, there was a man who was democratically elected for the first time by, a, what, 70-some percent? 77. Seven, all right. Coincidentally, the guys who overthrew him happened to be on our payroll and were trained by our military. Yeah. Whether or not we knew it was happening or not. Now, we've done a great job of completely destroying the infrastructure of Nicaragua by, by supporting a great blockade. We have gone up since the embargo. We're not suggesting that we go in there and give them money. They don't want our help that way. We should just leave them alone. We should support. Wait a minute. We, just let me finish. We've completely done. You know what? People are getting their five. Yes. 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 You don't think the the American you, companies yes, that are this in, young woman the American companies that are in, in there now are taking away hundreds and hundreds of jobs from the United States because they're paying five cents an hour. One of the problems with Aristide was that he was going to increase the minimum wage. This is a big threat to most of the big corporations yes. that are down there, and there are a lot of people making a lot of money you, down there. You are Haitian. Yes. And you wanted to say to this gentleman's question. We don't need handout. We don't need your food. We don't need your charity. We just need justice. Yes. We need justice. But I would ask you, please. Yes, yes. But the gentleman cannot be dismissed for wondering whether or not we have an exaggerated notion of what, for example, the return of the president will do. We, it's difficult for Americans to believe that somehow everything on the island is going to be just wonderful if one finite human being is returned. And we agree that he was democratically elected, and the numbers by which he was elected against an entire slate of opposition candidates was very, very impressive. Yep. But if you send him back, he is going, you, he is oh, going to have America, to... Uh, if, yes, if, if he's Mr. what? If Mr. Clinton stop in, you know, the, the governor, the American governor, and stop meddling in our business, yes. we will be able to take off our things. How they do it is by paying those militaries, giving them checks, you know, paying them. Right now, these people, these people that, you know, that are supposed to be with the embargo, yes. they get their plane, they fly to Miami, they buy their food, and they go back. So that, so that the okay. embargo is not working. So it's not for them. It's not yes. for them. Yes, yes. It's not for them. Yes, ma'am, you want I think, as uh, Mr. Glover just said, he, he used the word discomfort. You are discomfort when you are informed. You need to know what's going on. What your government is saying is not that is doing in people's country. Don't think, think happens simply, you know, very easily in Haiti. Those people, the army is not a um, Haitian army. It's an American army. Let me finish. It's an American army standing in Haiti since 1915 just to continue the American job in Haiti. So the army is paid by the American government. Yes. So yes. What I, that's what, when he used the, the word comfort, you American people, I know you're nice people, but you need to stand in front of your government. How do your government making you look bad all over the world? Let because me. what your government is saying is doing something different. We, when we say you know, Aristide must go back, it's going to be right for us because we know what his choice is all about. Let me, we let choose me, him. How please, it is our own choice. Please give me a chance to let me. <laughs> Mr. Glover, you wanted to say. <laughs> no, I took, I took issue with that. You know, because I do film doesn't mean that I've absolved my right as a citizen. I'm a citizen. I live in a community. I live in a community that, and, and not only do I live in that community, I have to deal with the problems in that community because of racism. So I not only have to deal with the problems in, of racism in my community, but also around the world. So I cannot, I don't take that as issue. If, if I can lend someone's ear to what's happening, to talk about them and make them feel uncomfortable right. and make them question yes. what's happening. The whole, whole idea of democracy is that we question yeah. what happens. I would also... Not to, not to, rubber, not to rubber stamp. Yeah. I would also ask the gentleman to take another look at your... You tell us you're tired of these Hollywood celebrities. Um, 
we would wonder, you know, uh, you, you tire very easily, may I say. There, there, there are not that many Hollywood celebrities. I would also bet this. I bet you weren't tired of John Wayne's continued support of the Vietnam War and the Nixon policies in Southeast Asia. Uh, but I'll give you a chance to speak to uh, my own questions and to those who... I'll give you a chance. Harry Belafonte is first when we come back in just a moment. I was told a long time ago, if you're going to be successful, you better, you better have good people. You better start with good people. And in my business, I feel that's very, uh, a very key element. And I'm sure with People's Choice that that's what makes uh, that group so outstanding, is they have good people. And they have good people at the top. They have good people at the bottom. Uh, no matter who you come in contact with, they care about what they're doing. And I think that's a, a big, big factor in their success. If you haven't been to the dentist in a while, you're in for a pleasant surprise. Today, safety is as important as comfort, and we're concerned about both at Dental Village. We protect you, we inform you, we create a partnership. We know the more you know, the better we can work together. That's why we call it dentistry for thinking people. In every way possible, including financial, after a lifetime of dentistry, seniors deserve special consideration, and at Dental Village, they get it. This officer of the law made his wife do unthinkable things. Started out as a uh, fantasy, and the fantasies just went farther and farther. This man made you have sex with his fellow police officers? Yes. It was uh, something that he just really enjoyed. Why did she allow him to turn her into a sex slave? It was a, a mind thing. Next, Montel Williams. Today at 3 on KOLD TV 13. We're putting DuPont-approved Master Life carpet to the ultimate test with a 10-ton steamroller and a little help from our Master Life crush crew. Ready! Go! Let's clean this up. All Master Life carpets on sale now with no money down, no interest, no payments for 12 months, or we pay the sales tax. Save on DuPont Master Life during our price crusher sales. Nice. Harry, uh, when we broke, you were about to say. I believe that the young man raised his voice in a way that reflects a large segment of the American community. I, do too. I think most people feel, as he does, that there's a, too much of a celebrity intervention and that we're always trying to help people who we say we're not responsible for. Two things. I have never been in a celebrity intervention that didn't work and make a difference in the final analysis. Whether it was We Are the World, when we focused on what went on in Africa, whether it was the, the Hands Across America, which focused on the homeless in this country, all of which made a difference. Made a difference legislatively, made a difference in terms of universal consciousness on the issue. Same thing back to the days of the Civil Rights Movement and all that the celebrities did and artists did during the Second World War when we fought against fascism in the world. That's the first point. So celebrities are not only citizens, but we do have a power, the power to, to direct and to influence, and I think we should use it, number one. Number two is that most people make the assumption that what goes on in Haiti, we've had nothing to do with, when in fact, almost everything that has happened within this region, within the Caribbean, Central America, and Latin America, is directly at the doorstep of American policy and American interest. And, and, and whether it's Aristide or it's, uh, or it's Allende in Chile or it's Juan Bosch in, in, in the Dominican Republic or it's Lumumba in Africa, everywhere you look where there's been a destabilization and people have had a miserable consequence to their efforts of trying to become democratic, you find America at the center of it all. So we are not without our hands with blood. And I therefore think that those of us as American citizens, whether we're artists or not, have a responsibility to change these policies. First of all, because we're very much responsible for it. And secondly, because it is our responsibility as human beings and members of the human family. Um, okay. May I ask you to stand, please? Uh, we have not met Complo at me, who is here with uh, Roland Durancey, who will uh, your translate uh, for us. And my apologies. It, it's... It's uh, Creole, not uh, 
French. Yeah. With respect. Um, Complo, you have a... Uh, you have obviously been uh, very severe. Like, if you kindly turn over to this. Uh, what... Uh, may I ask you to step back for a second, please? What caused this, my friend? I'm sorry? The people who are responsible for the coup in Haiti who are against the changes in the country. Mm -hmm. And so the military did this? The military did this? Yeah, because I was participating in the election, I was delegated. It's me who was responsible. And they were in the commune of Marigo. Yes. And they were also in the coup d'etat. After the coup d'etat, they were in the coup d'etat. What did he say? Yes, the military. Because I was part of the uh, electoral group. He was a part of the electoral yes. establishment that oversaw the election of Aristide. Yes. yes. And the burning of his body was a purposeful act by those hostile to the idea of this victory. Obviously, to put the fire and uh, to put the fire in the house while he was inside of the house. Oh, I see. He was in there when they he burned the house. house. Yes. I see. Yes. With his wife and the children. Uh huh. And, and how long? This would have been within the past two and a half years or so. Combien combien t'as fait gagner le bilan? Quatre février, il a été vendu. It had happened February 4, 1992. Uh huh. So we're only two years removed from this incident. Um, and this is the this is obviously the. Uh, identification of him yes. as an official yes. worker in the election, yes. I see. So because he participated, thank you, my friend, because he participated in the election, he was targeted. Randall. Two days after last Christmas, the military burned 860 homes in City Soleil, killing 50 people, some of whom they threw onto the fires. And so this is still going on. I, I want to support what Harry just said and, and uh, raise a point in addition to it. The problem we have in our country with most of us is that we, we, we come into these issues with the newspaper headline. We don't have any appreciation of the history of these problems. Somalia is a problem because our government gave $887 million to a dictator who destroyed his country. But when we knew about it, it was already destroyed. Haiti is the same thing, and to consider that after the coup, we continued to train a military we knew to be brutalizing the country is a disgrace for us. And the Clinton administration saying one thing when the president campaigned to, to, to deal in a humane way with Haitian refugees and now embraces this cruel policy with vigor is simply unforgivable. And we'll be back in just a moment. across America, people have discovered Plus White, the fast, easy way to remove stains from their teeth. Plus White, with the oxygenating action most dentists use to whiten teeth. It even removes coffee and tobacco stains. Plus White, it whitens teeth as no toothpaste can. Get it. Believe it or not, both twins had straight hair. Which twin permed to get curly? Which just used a shampoo? Wash and Curl Shampoo. Its special curl enhancers work right in the shower. I permed. I use Wash and Curl. Wash and Curl, the curling shampoo. We kill germs that cause bad breath. We fight plaque above the gum line. We go on to battle the gum infection, gingivitis. We are Listerine antiseptic. When you work one job, grab something quick. Then hit job number two. How you gonna spell relief? Calcium rich Rolaids has more calcium than regular tongues. More of what it takes to stop heartburn fast. Calcium rich Rolaids spells calcium rich relief. Criminals have gone to war against our families, and they are winning. I'm Barbara Barrett. I say let's put dangerous criminals in jail and keep them there, period. We need to start young in order to break the cycle of crime and to teach our children right from wrong and respect for the law. Young people saved from a life of crime have a future. They become taxpayers with jobs instead of tax wasters in prison. Barbara Barrett for governor. It's time we did better. You got friends at O'Reilly? So, you sell a lot of used cars. Lots of makes and models. Got some good stuff now, dude? Watch this. 
Get a 93 Chevy Corsica LT, just $99.70. A 93 Lumina Euro, just $12.970. Or a 93 Pontiac Grand Am, just $11.970. Wow, so you might say that's what's uh, new in used cars. So to speak, you've got friends at O'Reilly Chevrolet Geo. Have we got a dealership for you? This is a respiratory therapist at work. A special career for special people. People who want more in their lives. The challenge of a medical career and an opportunity to be of service. Plus the rewards of a well-paying job that you can be proud of. If you have ever considered a healthcare career, respiratory therapy could be the right field for you. Call Pima Medical Institute and discover how you can train for this exciting career right here in Tucson. Call 326-1600. That's 326-1600. Call now. To be a part of the audience, please send a postcard for free tickets to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Be sure to include your phone number with area code. I am proud of you because you are fighting for democracy. I am proud of you because one day with you, we will be in our Haiti. Yes, ma'am. I'm saying that I'm from South Florida, and I know what it's like to have Haitian refugees coming into South Florida, where they pick up a Cuban right on that boat, and then the Cuban comes in, they go to a hotel, and the Haitian refugee gets to Chrome. And then they tell me, as an educated Haitian, Chrome. that works for, for many yeah. reputable uh, institutions in South Florida, that the Haitians are being smuggled in when the president is running Haiti out of remote control. I think that's wrong. I think we need celebrities, and I think we need more than people like celebrities that are going to stand up and say it's about time we change. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We, are, we are sick and tired of the lip services by the Clinton administration. And this is obviously sending the wrong message to, the, to those in Haiti. Yes, ma'am. On, unless Michel Francois Cedras leave the country, the terror, the execution, and the raping of five years old, young kids five years old being raped in front of their mothers will escalate. You want to say, my friend? Well, okay, Phil, I, I have a few photographs of this for me, please. I want you to show those photographs to the young man, the photograph of that lady who was um, beaten in Haiti. Yes, let me just, uh, let me just make uh, the point. We have welcomed to our stage uh, Kay Joost, uh, I'm sorry, uh, El Air, who is with her uh, translator, Erna Latemps. Uh, we've already established that El Air lost uh, much of her right arm to a machete after authorities came, the military came, looking for her husband, who was a known Aristide supporter. He fled, she gets caught, she gets macheted, and these horrible pictures which you bring are pictures taken of her, I assume, at the hospital shortly after this attack. And you want uh, this audience to know, do you, that uh, these are, uh, this is not unusual. You have uh, a serious uh, machete wounds which were obviously intended to kill this woman. Right, I want you to show it to that young man, that those pictures. And I want the young men to know we are the son and daughters of the Asian people who have fought in the United States in 1776 and 1779 to secure the independence of the United States. I want to seize the opportunity to send, send a clear message to President Clinton. I want him to keep his word. That is, to send President Jean Bertrand Aristide, back to power. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You know, we just want the American people to wake up. You know, in the 1930s, we say we didn't know what was happening to the Jews. Well, today it's happening to the Haitians. You don't know how it affects you. Look at the streets, the streets of New York, the streets of anywhere, the drug trade. This is what we're supporting, a drug trade in Haiti. You believe, as has been reported by not a few uh, news agencies, that the military regime in Haiti has restored it as a conduit of drugs which make their way sooner or later. Absolutely, to absolutely. There is no question about it. You can read it anywhere. There is proof. And this is what we are supporting. We have to wake up, America. Let's l remember again, as I said, in the 1930s, 40s, yes. what happened to the Jews. This is what is happening to us right in our backyard right here. Wake up, people. And we'll be back in just a moment. I can't stop love. 
Their music touched our lives. Music straight from the heart. America's country music legends. USA brings you Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, Dolly Parton, Eddie Arnold, Skeeter Davis, Farron Young, Patsy Cline, George Jones, Loretta Lynn, Hank Williams. We'll make you crazy. Call now to get 24 memory-filled hits from 1961. More than one full hour of the greatest country hits ever. Just $9.99 on compact disc or cassette. Sweet dreams of you. I fall to pieces. Don't worry about me. Then audition other fabulous Country USA albums, each for 10 days, and satisfaction is guaranteed. Country USA is not sold in stores, so call now and get a lifetime of precious memories. Here's how to order. To order Country USA, use your credit card and call to 1-800-896-6500. That's 1-800-896-6500. Or send $9.99 for two double-length cassettes or two compact discs, plus $3.50 shipping and handling to Country USA 61, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. For a transcript of Donahue, send $3 to Journal Graphics, 1535 Grant Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203, or call 303-831-9000. To order a video cassette for only $24.95, just call 1-800-FOR-VIDEO. This young man has been referred to by every uh, member of our panel. Uh, you wanted to say. I just want to, these people are misunderstanding me. I believe Aristide should be you put You said back. you were getting a little tired. That's a very, well, I'm gonna that's a large example. dismissal. No, no. That's the back of the hand to these folks who are trying to keep people from having a machete placed on the I back will, of them. I will give a personal example. My parents emigrated here from Hungary during the revolution. And during that time, people were speaking up in this country to support the people who wanted freedom in Hungary. And then when my father told me he was there in the square in the parliament, that the people believed the United States and the people would support them if they did something. They did something, they started it. What ended up happening, they got no support. A lot of my parents' friends got killed as they made dashes for the border. So when I see this, I believe Aristide should be returned, but I believe, I want to know, what will you guys do after this is all done with and Aristide's return to make sure that Aristide does not get thrown out again and that democracy will remain in Haiti? This is my question. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. My what? Yeah. I am saying your government thrown away President Aristide. They managed the coup d'etat and they're still behind those military guys. They were supposed to resign on October 15th. Susan, wa yes, Susan wanted to say. I just want to say that I understand and I feel badly. I mean, I was completely against going in in the Gulf and that wasn't even a democratic you know, country, and we went in to support oil, basically, yeah. and people were killed, and I'm very much against that kind of intervention. We're not talking about that yet. Right. We're talking about just keeping with the embargo. We haven't done any of the things we've said, and plus we're in there in the first place. So how do we know what we'll do until we, right. first of all, stand uh, by? I just want to make reference to your T-shirt. Danny, you've been so patient there. 1-800-MANDELA. Uh, is a number at which you can what pledge your support to those who are trying to support to raise money for the uh, for voter education and campaign money for the South African election, which is the 26th through the 28th of April. That's one eight hundred Mandela. I should say also that we have a phone number, and it is the citizen line to the White House. And I'll be happy to share that number with you as well. I don't want to confuse our viewers here. This is. This is the Mandela, 1-800-MANDELA number. And uh, in a moment, I'll be glad to give you the White House number to those of you who want to uh, make your voice known. Uh, Randall, we cannot dismiss this young man's point, and that is, uh, uh, however, whatever the, well, the sins of the past may be, and they are pretty well documented, and it is quite true, the United States has a lot to answer for in Central America, as well as the, as the, the Caribbeans, and uh, not a few island nations. Um, He's, he doesn't think that law and order will be restored merely by the return of well, President. Well, Haiti is a military terror state. It has to be addressed. The military soaks up 40% of a national budget. It's flush with drug money. There are 2,000 Colombians living in Haiti. They're not there on vacation. 
Uh, all of this money is going into the military coffers. Haiti won't be safe for democracy until the officer's corps in the leadership of this terror is removed from Haiti. So that has to be a part of this. No question yes. about it. We don't want military intervention in Haiti under any form. But every time the Haitian people begin to fight back, America gives the military more money and more weapons to repress the Haitian people. And we are fighting and we will continue to fight. But we don't want the United States to interfere in any way. Uh, yes. Yes. Sir, you wanted to say. Yes. Yes. I would ask, uh, like to ask Randall there uh, what the Clinton administration uses as an excuse for not carrying out with their, uh, yep. their campaign. Uh, Let me just try here. Uh, first of all, the boats will sink. One third of the people in these rickety boats will drown. They also uh, risk being killed by uh, hostile fire on the seas. It is not a safe thing to do. This is not what civilized people should do. And we have to stop them from getting in these very unsafe vessels to come to the United States. Randall. Two responses to it. Number one, we are all in the family of nations obliged to provide safe haven to those who have a well-founded fear of persecution. These are not immigrants. They are fleeing persecution. And so when they're interdicted, we have to give them a hearing. Point number one. Point number two, notwithstanding the cordon around Haiti, in the first two months of this year, some 610 Haitians have made the attempt in any case. They are well aware that they have one in two chances of reaching Miami alive. But they would better, they would rather take that chance than to stay in Haiti. Anyone who is in Haiti now who favors democracy is a marked person. Anyone who is married to or a child of or a parent of one who favors democracy is marked for death. What? What? What's Clinton use? What's he use for an excuse for not carrying through with his campaign? Promises? I'll give you a chance to speak to that uninterrupted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't have more time. And incidentally, there's a young man on this stage who has a baseball. Baseballs are made in Haiti. Are they still made in Haiti? Are we still buying them? And what's the story with this embargo? And we'll be back in just a moment. What terrible disease has plunged Roseanne into agony? I want to know. What secrets does Reba McIntyre reveal in her blockbuster new book? Get an exclusive sneak preview in this week's Inquirer. Why does Whoopi want her engagement to this man hush hush? Why are police investigating Dom DeLuise for sexual assault? It's all in this week's Inquirer. How can you beat loneliness? Find out in this week's Inquirer. Filled with fascinating features for people with inquiring minds. Like me. You know what makes a difference between a good cut of meat and a really great cut of meat? Bob the butcher back there for me is always joking and teasing and cuts me a beautiful piece of meat. It's the Blue Ribbon Meat Department at Abco Foods. Right now, Blue Ribbon Beef T-Bone Steaks in the Value Pack are $2.99 a pound. Get three loaves of Abco Foods white or wheat bread for 99 cents. And Shamrock Whole Homogenized Milk, $1.89 a gallon. At Abco, the meat is always fresh. The Blue Ribbon Meat Department. It's another reason why people are switching to Abco Foods. Maybe we shouldn't talk to the other driver's insurance company. I'm not sure we can trust them. If we tape anything we could use against them, we'll save thousands of dollars. Don't forget Goldberg and Osborne. That eagle stopped you before. Oh. Let's cancel this. We need Goldberg and Osborne. If you've been injured, call Goldberg and Osborne now for a free consultation before talking to any insurance company. Goldberg and Osborne, the injury lawyers. Welcome to Suwara Corners. We are continuing our family tradition of fine food and intimate dining since 1963. After a long day at work, come relax and experience the desert wildlife in a natural setting while enjoying one of our famous margaritas or a saguaro blossom in one of our souvenir mugs. Choose from our varied selection of well-prepared lunch or dinner entrees. We'll be looking forward to seeing you at Suwara Corners in the very near future. To be a part of the audience, please send a postcard for free tickets to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Be sure to include your phone number with area code. Randall Robinson will take his leave early from our program. You are to uh, have your last supper 
uh, quite literally tonight with uh, uh, President Aristide. You're going to Washington, and, and you are then will embark on your hunger fast following your Until evening with the Until the President. refugee policy changes, I will not eat. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, th uh, this makes a lot of your supporters uncomfortable. Um, what, you know, what is your purpose here? I, I know you want to call attention to the, to, just briefly We've got tell. To do everything we can to dramatize the enormity of this problem. Our president is complicit in the largest human rights disaster in our hemisphere in decades. That's right. And we as Americans in a democracy have to do something about it. We overcame Reagan on South Africa. Now we must overcome Clinton on Haiti. Uh, you're free to leave and get your uh, shuttle to uh, Washington. We thank you, uh, Mr. Robinson, and uh, Kay Juist. Kay Juist, you are uh, you were General Secretary of Labor in Haiti, um, and you bring us uh, this softball can be found on the diamonds, uh, any of the countless numbers of diamonds across, baseball diamonds across America. This is a Haitian product, is it? Oui. Yes. Uh -huh. And he brings it because he wants us to know what? Ça représente the aspect économique coup d'état de septembre. This represents the economical aspects of the coup d'état of September 30th. Et après le coup d'État 30 septembre, le baseball, c'est une compagnie américaine qui a fait en Haïti. Après le coup, ces baseballs sont encore faits par les compagnies américaines en Haïti. Et exportés pour notre usage. Et vous voyez au Vénicide. Vous voyez au Vénicide. Oui, ils ont été exportés. Et ils ont payé les gens qui ont fait 2 centimes pour par baseball. Et ils ont payé les gens 2 cents par ball qui sont faits en Haïti. 2 cents par ball. 2 cents. Two cents. People who are making two pennies. Two, two pennies is the cost of making. The price on this is seven dollars and forty-nine cents. Uh huh. This is a uh, official approved major league perform. Well, it's not the. Uh, the women working in these factories, they're mostly women, have to bring their own water to work. They're sexually harassed. There's no bathrooms. The unbearable heat. Excuse me, the, Susan, but I think uh, I insult most of our viewers to say these are handcrafted. This is uh, this is very labor intensive. And the price on this uh, product is seven dollars and forty nine cents. Mm -hmm. And these Haitians in our front rows here claim that it costs about two do two cents to make. That's what they pay the women that make them is two cents. Two cents. And they are, they have to handle an amazing amount of toxic materials in order to put this together. So they don't stay at the factory very long because most of them get tuberculosis uh -huh. or other lung. Diseases. So this is just one proof that the embargo is is certainly a sieve like. This it, is a government contract that's bringing two of these things, and there's actually a Clinton government contract that's being brought in illegally. Right. I will have the White House citizen phone number for you when we come back in just a moment. This week, when you shop at Fry's Food and Drug Stores, be sure to pick up country-style pork spare ribs for just 97 cents a pound. Dan and fat-free blended yogurts are four for a dollar. And in Fry's Bakery, we guarantee we'll have hot French bread every day at 4 p.m. This week, the one-pound loaves are two for a dollar. And the bakery also has available fresh, delicious donuts daily at 6 a.m. So shop where you'll save more in 94, your nearby Fry's Food and Drug Store. Every morning, the sun comes up. That's one thing you can count on. And I'll tell you another thing you can count on. It's tough to lose weight all by yourself. That's what's wonderful about Weight Watchers. At your first Weight Watchers meeting, you'll find all the support you need, and you'll discover that Weight Watchers really works. I know. I've lost 16 pounds already. Lose five pounds in just two weeks with Weight Watchers' new Superstart program, or your next meeting is free. Call today, 1-800-651-6000.
Carpet Pal. Pay later. Through Monday at Carpet Giant, you save big and buy interest-free for three full months. It's Carpet Giant's spring price break. Dupont Stainmaster, values to $14, now $6.99 a yard. 8x11 area rugs, not $200, now $99. No wax floors, including Bannington Silver and Gold, start at $5.99. And room size remnants start at $39. Carpet now, pay in July. That's three months interest-free at Tucson's Dupont Approved Master Store, Carpet Giant. You said it can't last. I was madly in love with this man. Is this ex-Playboy bunny still crazy for her 83-year-old hunk? You said no way. Some of the best sex I ever had was with Mark. Is Jeff still head over heels for his senior beauty? And are Rhonda and her 100-year-old hubby still in matrimonial bliss? You said they wouldn't last. Next Sally. Tomorrow at 8 on KOLD TV 13. They both raped me. One man tells why he raped. Can we stop him from raping again? Next, Donahue. The White House comment line is uh, area code 202, 456, and four aces. 4561111. The area code is 202. To those of you who'd like to comment on the Haitian issue, you wanted to say, Harry. I've just come back from Los Angeles where I had a meeting with the Bloods and the Crips, one of the largest warring youth gangs in America, and also with the, with, in, with, with, with the Latino groups up in San Francisco. And they- Services provided and promotional fees paid by the following.